Previously on the Gadget Inspector Channel. Yeah, overall great bike <laughs> is my assessment. A little bit of a cloudy day here today, but uh, about 70 degrees. And why not? Let's get in the bike lane here and let's take this baby up to the top speed once again. Okay, this park here has some uh, different terrain that we can test the bike out on. There's some gravel over here, and then there's uh, a path back there with wood chips, and then there's a grass field back there. And let's see if we can do it if there aren't people on the path. If so, we may wait to do this another day, but we will at least go over the gravel area here and <laughs> it's almost like the bike doesn't even notice that this is gravel just cutting through it like butter no big deal at all <laughs> so that's what the big old 26 inch 4 inch wide fat tires will get you is uh, great handling over all kinds of different terrain. All right, and we're moving through that really easily. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go on back here. And we'll test this out if we see people. We'll, we will definitely give them the right of way. But uh, as you can see, this is kind of uh, wood chips kind of uh, terrain here and once again the bike doesn't even seem to notice at all <laughs> awesome and this is uh, obviously a big grass field here and uh, it's just rolling over this like nothing like it's nothing Oh, it looks like there's a, another trail back here. Wow, I didn't realize that. Let's go back there. Let's see. Oh, wow, you can really get lost back here, couldn't you? <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is the kind of stuff you can do with these bikes, with this kind of a bike, with this kind of tires and this kind of power. Another field, open area here. It's an interesting little park here. It's a um, it's a farm that's been preserved. Well, it used to be a farm, but the land, I guess, has been preserved. Let's go back this way. And uh, they do Civil War reenactment reenactments out here. But yeah, this is a perfect place to ride a bike like this <laughs> with with the. Uh, varying types of terrain and ups and downs that you get with uh, this kind of a path or trail and it's just a lot of fun lots of tree cover and vegetation so it's nice and cool back here let's go this way just kind of exploring a little bit didn't uh, actually didn't realize this uh, it went back this far, which is another great thing about electric bikes is the ability to explore. So the ability to explore areas you normally, you know, may never, you know, see is definitely a plus. And we've got a little bit different terrain here. And uh, it's rolling through this without an issue. I don't know where the heck I am. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we got Strava going here. It's just to kind of keep keep an eye on my distance because we are testing the range of the battery. Wow. Where does this go? That looks like that's a walking path. I don't think I should take my bike down there. Let's just keep going here. <laughs> Let's 
is awesome. I think I found a really good uh, trail that I can come out and, and ride through. And we are going up a little bit of a grade here. Nice changes in elevation to really test this motor out. And like I said, this is an old farm and looks like many of the uh, buildings are still here and being maintained. So I just turned it into a park where people can come and enjoy. Let's see, is this still a rideable trail? Maybe not. And I will say that it's uh, fairly comfortable. I haven't been riding very long, but um, this is um, bumpy in some spots. And, uh, you know, it's not bad on the, uh, on the old buttocks. <laughs> so the seat is, the seat is really nice. At least for the four miles or so that I've been riding thus far. Let's keep going. See where it takes us. Why not? Hey, there's a squirrel. <laughs> I am very, very <laughs> pleased to have found this area here. I don't think I could have asked for a better place to come out. Oh, there's a rabbit. Just enjoy nature test out electric bikes, go for a nice ride. There's wildlife out here. Look at this. There's all kinds of places to discover. <laughs> How cool is this, huh? Let's go back up here. All pedaling. Bike is handling this, in, this increasing grade, no problem. I do hear the motor. So when when the when the motor faces you know some resistance, steeper grades, you will uh, start to hear the motor kick in. But otherwise, it's fairly quiet. Like now, I I barely hear it. Okay, so we're kind of heading back the way we came. Okay. See what this is over here. Looks like they're building something over here. I'm not sure what that is, but how cool is this to just explore? Wouldn't want to be back here any later than it is right now. Okay, what do we have here? Am I able to go over this? Let's see. Oh, I know what this is. This is that path. Remember that path we saw? I'm gonna turn around because uh, it gets kind of narrow through there. So we don't want to chance that. So we'll go back and see if we can't head back the exact way we came. And I am pedaling. I am definitely, um, I definitely feel like I have pedal authority, like I am the one actually um, controlling how much power is being output. So, and I guess I should explain that some more. So it feels like, let's see, I think I need to go this way, yeah. So I can definitely feel when the motor kicks in but um, if I take this down to pedal assist, say I'll take it down to two. Pedal assist two, you know, I'm at a decent speed and I feel like I can control that. I can stop pedaling and coast. And then if I need to engage and get some more speed, start pedaling again. So I feel like you can really control your pace 
but still feel like you're getting exercise in, right? It's not just, you know, the bike isn't doing everything on its own. All right, so I'm on pedal assist two. This feels really good to kind of cruise, right? At about 10 miles an hour, 10, 11. Okay, I'm gonna pump it up to three and that gives me a little more. And I'm gonna cruise a little bit and then pedal some more. So you get my drift. All right, where are we now? Let's see, <laughs> this is awesome. Previously. Yeah, pretty sure. So we'll go back this way. Oh, no, no, this is new. This is new. Again, a little bit different type of terrain. Got some powdery rock there. Back to grass. Okay. Which way now? I don't know where I am. Okay, 216th Street. Very good. That's what I want. <laughs> Okay, I could always pull out, pull out my phone and if it came down to it, but I think we're good now. This is awesome. So if you think you would be into being out in nature, you know, being able to explore new areas, getting some exercise but being able to relax as well you've got the power to assist you if you want to just kind of cruise i mean it's just it's awesome it is really really awesome and if you're on a budget and if you you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money i mean you can spend five six seven eight nine ten thousand dollars on an electric bike this one is eight, I think 850, I think is what it was. 850 for this bike, right? And you're getting a decent bike. Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at what I'm doing. All right, now let's kick it up to pedal assist five and let's, let's go. Give it some throttle. We're up to 18 miles an hour already, 20. 21 and I think this uh, speedometer on the bike does not reflect the actual top speed because the well, we're up to 23 now yeah it's capping at 23 but the my GPS speedometer always reads 25 which is the advertised top speed for this bike so I'm not sure why it does that <laughs> 